Hello, my name is Andrew with Pack Radio. We are a two-way radio shop based out of Los Angeles, California. And today I wanted to bring you a video showing you the top five professional commercial grade radios uh, that you could use for your business. And I'm going to give you a couple of pros and cons to each radio and why I chose them. Before we start this video, however, I'm going to give you a couple of suggestions on what you should not be using to communicate within your business. And that is FRS radios and aftermarket radios. Now we're going to start off with FRS radios. You can see a picture of some of these on the screen. Now the reason you don't want to be using FRS radios is because their range is limited, their audio just randomly drops for no reason, and their durability is really terrible. I've seen so many businesses who use FRS radios who are just wasting their time on replacing these FRS radios month after month because they keep breaking down when instead they could just get one of these radios that I'm going to show you later in the video and these radios have a life expectancy of about six years battery life expectancy is three years so it's essentially a one-time investment which means you won't be having to go to Target or eBay to buy new FRS radios every other month as for the aftermarket radios these again are not only lacking in durability and functionality but a lot of times they will actually transmit on police and fire frequencies and I've seen this too many times with businesses, uh, they buy these aftermarket radios, they get them in, they start using them out of the box, and then unknowingly they end up uh, transmitting on police and fire frequencies. This actually puts them at a major risk of getting fined from the FCC, and fines for that offense are upwards of $10,000, which is definitely something you don't want to make yourself liable for. And now on to the main part of the video, which is the top 5 commercial grade radios that Motorola provides. So in at number 5, as you can see, we're going to have to go with the Motorola CP200. This is a great legacy radio, it is analog only, uh, and depending on which model you buy, it can go from 4 channels up to 16 channels. And just an overall easy to use affordable radio. It's got standard uh, two programmable buttons on the side and then a large push to talk button for ease of use. With the Motorola CP200 you can also expect an extremely long battery life upwards of 20 hours if you're using the lithium ion batteries which makes the CP200 an overall reliable and affordable solution for keeping a voice connection between your team. Moving on to number 4, we have the Motorola XPR6550. Now the 6550 is a feature rich radio, however it maintains a low price due to the fact that Motorola actually discontinued it due to the age of the radio. Uh, we at Pack Radio still do carry it, so if you want uh, to get one of these, definitely feel free to contact us and we would be happy to help out. Now back to the radio, the XPR6550 is capable of 1000 channels, uh, 16 channels per zone. It also has 6 programmable buttons so you can access any of the features you need on the fly. The fact that this radio has digital capabilities means that it can send text messages to other digital radios, make private calls to other digital radios, and the range and audio clarity is actually increased because of digital voice. So you will notice a substantial increase in range uh, on the XPR6550 over, let's say, the CP200 or any other traditional analog radio. When the XPR6550 is in digital mode, it also has the option to encrypt the voice. Uh, so that means added security for your communications in case you don't want anybody hearing what you're saying. Another great feature of this radio is that it has an IP57 rating, meaning that it can be completely submerged in water. This makes the XPR6550 an extremely robust and feature-rich radio which can be configured to meet any of your communication needs. For our third spot, we have the Motorola XPR3300. Now this radio is one of the newer radios that Motorola makes, which is why it is a little more expensive. However, that does mean that it comes with a couple more features that may be useful to you. So first of all, this radio, similar to the XPR6550, can do both analog and digital function, which means if you want to slowly migrate from analog over to digital, you can do that. You don't have to buy all your radios at once. On top of this, something that the XPR3300 can do that the XPR6550 can't is voice announcement. This means that every time you change the channel, you can have a audio prompt come out of the radio telling you what channel you're actually on. This audio prompt is completely customizable. You can name the channels any name you want, and uh, that's what the audio prompt will say. Kind of comparable to something like Siri, 
inside of a radio. This radio is also equipped with the slim lithium ion battery which will give it a 13 hour battery life and if you wish to expand to a standard lithium ion battery you can expect to get around 17 hours of battery life. The XPR3300 is also IP55 waterproof which means that it can be held under a running sink without having any of the performance affected. This is an overall simple and easy to use 16 channel radio with the standard two programmable side buttons and large push to talk button. If you don't need a display on your radio, however you still need the enhancements that digital radios provide, then the XPR3300 is the perfect simple and slim solution for your team. Now for our fourth radio, the XPR3500. Now quick disclaimer before I start this section of the video, we are actually currently out of XPR3500s as somebody purchased all our other units. That is why you're only seeing the case of the radio on the screen and not the full radio. Uh, for this reason, I'm just going to be putting up slideshow images of the 3500. But with that being said, let's get into the actual stats of this unit. So the XPR3500 is essentially no different than the XPR3300 aside from a, a few small factors. Obviously the XPR3500 does have a display which allows you to receive and read text messages and this display also lets you navigate basic menu features in case you want to private call other radios or other functions such as that. The XPR3500 also has an additional two programmable buttons on the front of the radio and it also has uh, had its channel capacity increased to 128 channels. With the XPR3500 you also have the ability to add basic encryption to your voice. This option is usually enough for most users, however if you would like enhanced encryption then you would have to go and purchase a software key for that. The same rule applies for the Motorola XPR3300. If you would like basic encryption, that is for free. However, if you would like the enhanced encryption, you would have to purchase a software key. Please note, however, if you purchase the XPR6550 or the XPR7550, then enhanced encryption is provided at no additional cost. Overall, the XPR3500 maintains the same slim and professional form factor that the XPR3300 has while providing you with a few additional features and a display. And now for our number one spot, we have the Motorola Moto Turbo XPR7550. Now this radio is a top of the line Motorola digital radio. It can do both digital and analog and it's got a myriad of features which can be expanded even more if you make this radio a part of the network. Typically, we do suggest that you use this radio as a part of a network to uh, access all of the available features. However, for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to go over this radio as if it were being used in a radio-to-radio -radio system like we have been for the past four radios. Now, a few of the immediate things that stand out from this radio are the channel selector. It can go, con uh, it goes all the way around and it does not have a lock which means you can do more than 16 channels per zone, allowing a little bit more flexibility in that area. On top of this, you also have six programmable buttons allowing immediate access to any features that you need. This radio also has a very flexible display allowing for adjustment during day mode or night mode, brightness options, and amount of time you want the backlight to stay on. On top of this, the radio also has Bluetooth which allows wireless access between the radio and other accessories, for example wireless earpieces or wireless remote speaker mics. The XPR7550 also has the same accessory port connector that the 6550 has, so if you have any old accessories, they are compatible with both radios. Like the XPR6550, the 7550 is IP57 waterproof and can be fully submersed in water. It also has enhanced encryption available for all digital voice channels, so that way you can maintain privacy while communicating with your team. 
Another great feature of the 7550 is the highly flexible audio profile, which gives you options like microphone automatic gain control, mic distortion control, and automatically adjusting radio volume according to surrounding noise. It's features like these that make the XPR7550 a top-of-the-line Motorola Moto Turbo radio. If you would like a more detailed feature list for all Motorola commercial grade radios, or if you just need some assistance with choosing which radio is best for your business, then feel free to contact us at our website. All links are in the description below. Thank you for watching.